Hello, today I have to change um, the gasket for the group head on an Rensilio Epoca and I just want to show you how I do it. Um, you see when you look at the group head you see this is the group head and in between uh, the edge here is the gasket. When the gasket comes new it looks uh, like this and it's quite flexible and rubbery. If you take a screwdriver and you knock on this, this is hard like a brick. So how do you get it out? There are several options. The first obviously is to somehow fiddle it out with a screwdriver, but because it's so hard it is not possible. If you're kind of woodworker, um, you can of course uh, chisel it out. There's no wrong or right way how to do it. Um, just have to get it out somehow. What I found out works quite, quite good. Um, it's one method, but as I said, you can do it in different ways. You just take a small drill, and I did it previously before I decided to make that video, so I just show it. Um, you drill a hole into this gasket. Then you take any kind of any kind of screw. You just need the hole to to attach to get a starting point for the screw because otherwise it's almost impossible to get it in. So then you turn it in a little, a little bit. It goes quite easy because it's so it's rubber. Although it got very hard over the years, it's still rubber. And then you take some fairly pliers and you pull that out. <laughs> and you maybe you hear how hard it goes. And there it is. Um, first step is done. Maybe, maybe you need a second attempt. Seldom, rarely works on the first attempt. So but then you can put it out and take the pliers to get it out. And as you see, it's very brittle. You can hear it. It has no no flex in it at all. It immediately it immediately breaks. So now it's a good idea to have some smaller pliers and you see how it turns into dust and falls out. Of course now for demonstration purposes it broke so I have to get the screwdriver and just try to get under the remaining part but I see it's so hard so I better take a second second hole into the gasket and get the magic screw Try to fiddle it in, and if you have pre drilled the hole, it really is no problem. So, you just need slight hand pressure, you don't even have to have a proper drill, and there it comes out. So, um, that's basically it. Now, maybe inside this. Inside this uh, seam here, maybe there's a little dust. It doesn't really matter, and it's not a big problem if you won't do anything. But you can take your an old group head brush and just just a few turns. Look inside. If there's nothing left, 
and then you can put back in the new one. Before I do that, I want to show you something. Here are this Epoca. Of course, I'm working in the kitchen, as every real worker should do. One side of the gasket has a very, very small bevel. Here is a small bevel and here is no bevel. And like in woodworking, bevel down when you chisel sometimes, the bevel must face towards the porter filter. So this is, this is up, here is no bevel and down here there is the bevel. Uh, you put it this way up onto the head. So that's what we want to do now. We just make really sure, because once it's in, it's hard to get it out undamaged again. You, you really have to put it in facing the right direction to you. Otherwise, um, you, you, of course you can get it out again, but only by damaging it. So now we put it back in and it needs some some pressure first with your fingers. Put it in and for the rest there's an, there's an easy trick to do. You just get your portafilter doesn't matter which one and with this just um, put it in and slightly close it and this will push the gasket into this notch and you feel it immediately it closes here it starts to grip and then because it's still flexible it closes and it's wonderful. So, um, definitely something completely different than it was before. What I would recommend, and I will show you that in a second, is that you put some kind of towel or something under the group head. Because you see there's this debris that falls out of the of the group and you really don't want that in your machine. So you just place an old towel there to collect all this brittle stuff that came out and then you can easily fold it together and bring it away. Back on the tripod, I want to show you how brittle this is. This is the old gasket and you see it immediately breaks and this was the screw that I attached. You clearly can see in the profile where the porter filter where the porter filter set and it it really made a deep dimple in it here so this is how to change um, a porter filter basically on any kind of any kind of machine this is an epoca but if you want to on my machine, sorry for the bad lighting, um, Simonelli, it's, it's the same operation of course. So I hope you have no fear any longer to change it, really change it and then it's, it, it makes a lot of difference.